quick questions because I ran out of time. First question is, now in the American elections, we have probabilities. Yes. Either it's Biden and Trump, or Biden and somebody else, not Trump, or no Biden and no Trump, and circumstances or fate get us two different people representing Republican or Democrats. What do you think, where are we going to reach uh, coming 19th of November? Who will be running the show? I haven't, on, honestly, I, I haven't the faintest idea. Uh, but I, I think there's volatility ahead in our political sphere. I mean, clearly there is, because- I, I like you when you said, I, I don't have an, an idea. You, you, you have this courage of to say that you don't know. You were telling me this morning that what one of the things which you like very much about here, um, our, our President Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed, God bless him, uh, when you ask him a question, if he doesn't have an answer, he tell me, actually, I don't know the answer of this question. I've never heard a leader of anything, whether it's a country or a company or a soccer team, ever in my life, in a life spent interviewing people. I've never heard a single one of them say, you know, I don't, I don't know the answer. It's very complicated. I haven't figured it out. I've never heard anybody say that. And to me, that is the, the purest sign of wisdom because wisdom grows from humility. Wisdom grows from the recognition that you are not God. And in the United States, we had a period where we were sort of you know, having this debate about are some religions good and some religions bad? I'll tell you my view on it, and it's a hardened view. It's a sincere view. I divide the world not between Muslim, Jew, and Christian, or Buddhist. I divide the world between people who believe they're God and people who know they're not. And the only people I trust are in the second category because that is the beginning of wisdom. When you know you are not God, that you cannot affect every change that you want, that you can't foresee the future, that you're not omnipotent, then you are much more likely to make good decisions, wise, humane decisions. By contrast, when you believe you have the power to shape the world and other people, as we were hearing this morning through, through you know, biohacking, um, when you think you can create a better human being through technology, you're very dangerous because you don't understand your own limits. And you will get a lot of people killed uh, when, you, when you have those false beliefs, in my opinion. By, by this note, Mr. Carlson, thank you very much for giving us this chance to come for the first time after your great interview to talk to the world through this podium and this country and my humble self. Thank, thank you, sir. Thank